how to cook corn on a cup the fastest way. Let's go check it out. So we're gonna grab corn on the cup and stick it in the microwave. We're gonna cook it for four minutes. All right, we're gonna take it out. Now I'm gonna cut corn on the cup right here. Then what you wanna do is peel it off down this way. So you'll take it off with this stuff right here. Just like that. And you have freshly cooked corn on the cob. Four minutes in the microwave and it's good to go. Very cool stuff. Very delicious too. How to make brownie in a cup. This experiment we're going to need. Measurement cup, cup, olive oil, flour, sugar, 100% cocoa, pure spring water, some salt and a tablespoon. Optional items, ice cream and caramel. First we're gonna put one fourth cup of sugar. Then we're going to put one fourth cup of flour. Then we're going to put two tablespoons of cocoa. Cocoa or cacao, I don't know how to pronounce it. One pinch of salt, two tablespoons of olive oil. And three tablespoons of natural spring water. Then we're gonna mix it up all that. You're gonna have to mix it up till it's consistent. After about two minutes of mixing it, you see how consistent it is? That's pretty good right here. Then we're gonna put it in the microwave for about one minute and 40 seconds. Be careful, it might be hot. Then I'm gonna add my ice cream. My ice cream melted by the time I was doing this brownie, so keep it in the refrigerator. And then of course, who doesn't like some caramel on top of your ice cream and brownie? Alright guys, let's try it and let's see if I die or not. Oh my god, that tastes actually like real brownie. I'm gonna show you how to cook bacon in the microwave in like only 4-5 minutes. All we're gonna need is bacon of course, plate and some paper towels. Let's check it out. So what we're gonna do is grab like 4 paper towels, 1, 2, 3 and 4. And put it just like that in a plate. And then grab bacon and start putting it inside of a plate. One, two, three, and four. So I put my bacon down here. And then I'm gonna grab another piece of paper towel and put it on top. Okay guys, we're gonna put it on high and put it for about five to four minutes. Let's go. Alright, let's check this out. The plate is super hot, so be careful. So let's look at our bacon. Ooh, this is nice and perfect. Let's check this out. So look guys, check this out. Perfectly cooked bacon. This one a little bit overcooked. But you know what's awesome about cooking bacon like that? That is super fast and it's a mess clean. Look at this bacon. Mm-mm-mm. For scramble eggs you want to grab an egg, you know, just boom, and then you can even do it one-handed, except I failed anyways. Uh, then we want to splash of milk, then we, you want to grab something and mix it up, so till it looks like milky egg, you know. Now put it in the microwave for two minutes on high. Alright guys. We got our cooked eggs, let's look at this. Look how amazing is that. Let me put it on the plate so you can actually see. Look, isn't it amazing? I'm gonna show you how to make a cake in a mug under five minutes in the microwave. Let's check out the recipe. For this we're gonna need cocoa, self-raising flour, sugar, vanilla extract, chocolate chips, milk, and one egg. Of course, the mug and tablespoon and a teaspoon. That's it, let's get to it. First, we're gonna put four tablespoons of self-raising flour. 
Then four tablespoons of sugar. Then two tablespoons of cacao. And then mix it up. That's pretty good. Then we're gonna drop an egg in there. Mix that up as well, pretty nice. You see it's getting thicker because of the egg. Then we're gonna put three tablespoons of milk. That should be good. Mix it as well, again, with milk. Till it's like, you know, kinda not too much liquidish. And it's okay that it's not that much of it. We got the self-raising flour. It's gonna lift up, you know, once it's heat up. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And three ta tablespoons of chocolate chips. And then we're gonna mix it all up. That's how it's gonna look. Not, you, I don't know if you can see, but that's how it's gonna look. It looks like chocolate. So, and then we're gonna put it in the microwave for five minutes. Now we're gonna put it into the microwave and put it for five minutes. Alright, as you can see, it's raised out, out of the cup and it looks beautiful. You see, it's not spilling out into the microwave, it's just raising up. It's gonna be amazing cake. Alright guys, and here's how our cake looks like. Alright guys, look at this amazing stuff. I cannot wait to try it. Alright, time to taste it. Let's check it out. Mmm. How to make homemade chips. Let's check this out. We're going to grab a small piece of a wax paper. Lay it down on the table. Then we're going to grab a potato. Cut it in half. Then we got this slicer. Be careful, don't cut yourself. And then set a potato and then grab one of this and we're gonna slice it up. First we're gonna put a bunch of oil on a plate and then we wanna spread it around all over the plate so this way the chips not gonna get stuck. Then we're gonna grab our potatoes and lay them down. Then I'm going to season it with salt and pepper. Then we're going to put it in the microwave and set it for 3 minutes. It should take 3 or 4 minutes. Now look at these potato chips. Look at them. Just throw them over over there and you got it. Look how nice they are and crisp. Make sure it might be too hot. Check this out. Give them a second to cool off and get crispy again and look at this look how crispy they are